Hi, I'm Glenda from Illustrations by Glenda. And I'm Rebecca from Sense of Direction. And we wanted to talk, talk to you now about the overwhelm that everyone's feeling. And maybe Rebecca, could you tell us a bit how you recognise those those feelings of overwhelm? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think a lot of us experience them and don't recognise it as overwhelm, but it's things like lacking concentration, um, maybe having problems with our memory, so we start to forget simple things. We have sleep disturbance, so we're either sleeping longer than we would normally or finding it harder to get to sleep and not sleeping as well as we would normally. Um, that constant striving, always wanting to do better and finding it really difficult to relax and enjoy the process and just enjoy life in general and just feeling completely drained all the time. But it, it's not a pleasant feeling, it's a sort of a constant heaviness around us, yeah. Yeah, gosh, yeah, there's symptoms that you can really recognise. And um, how do you, how would you overcome that feeling of overwhelm, do you think? Yeah, this is really interesting. So there's been some research around this at attention restoration theory, and they talk about going through four stages to get to that restoration. So the first one is getting a clear head and allowing sort of time out, recovering from mental fatigue as well. And I think sometimes that can take longer than we think. That soft fascination, which I'll get you to explain a bit more about, and also just time to reflect and restore in the right environment, basically. So do you want to tell us about what that right environment is? Huh? Yeah, so I mean, I suppose that that restorative environment is like gold dust at the minute, isn't it? So, mm. you know, it starts with being away um, and then it starts also with having an activity that embodies that idea of soft fascination. Um, so things like painting with watercolours, walking and sort of working through your thoughts as you walk. So it's, again, it's not a passive walk, it's an active thinking walking. Um, and also being in a place where nothing is confusing or too challenging, so there's a, there's a gentleness to it. But the essence of it is there is also time to reflect. So unlike hard fascination, um, which is a very direct um, absorption, for example, reading, watching television, where you can be resting your muscles, but you're sort of not resting your mind or your, your road is more passive, and so you're not necessarily um, getting that restorative element that you do as a participant. Um, so that's, in a sense, where we sort of jump off with our retreat, and um, which is a, a weekend of mindful walking and beginner level watercolour painting. And we're going to explain a lot more at our free webinar, which is on the 12th of July. We'll pop a link with details in the comments. And please do come and join us and learn about um, what you might expect at the retreat. We cover everything in that webinar and we'll give you a real feel for, for what we have in mind. Brilliant. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.